Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making with you a 5x7 stenciled card. These are a great way to not only use your stash but experiment with lots of different mediums. Before I get into the video I'd just like to ask that if you're not already subscribed to my channel you hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow and if you enjoy this video or find it useful please also hit the thumbs up button. So here are two cards that I have already made and to make these cards I used this stencil here which I bought from Craft Stash in their £1 sale at the end of last year. It's by Creative, I really like the Creative brand, it is a Craft Stash own brand and it's a really beautiful stencil and it's a really good size as well. So this is the first card that I made. I've ink blended the blue background and then I added a pink over the top to create that lilac and then I just die cut two different banners and laid them on top of each other. Really really pretty and I really like these little gems in the middle. I think that really finishes the card off nicely. This is the second card that I made. I've used the same blue distress ink and I'm going to be using that same ink on today's card and then I've actually used Nouveau drops through the stencil to create this beautiful dimension and because they are crystal drops they also have a sheen to them. Really really pretty and then I've used some of my handmade flowers to finish it off with a with love banner. So let's move on to today's card. I'm going to be using a 5x7 pre-folded card blank and I'm going to leave it open. Just grab my stencil out. Now I currently don't have any of the stencil sprays that holds these in place. It may be something I look to invest in in the future but right now I find good old fashioned washi tape does the job for me. So. I've literally positioned this so there's a nice equal border either side and at the top and I am going to hold it in place with washi tape so I'm going to get that done and then I'll come back to you. That's all my washi tape in place. Now there are some really small holes around the edges that I'm going to have to be really careful of. I'm not so worried about these big ones here because my brush isn't going to go anywhere near these so I just need to be really careful when I get to the top and these sides to make sure that I don't accidentally go over the edge of the stencil. So to do my ink blending today I'm going to be using a blending brush. I got this from AliExpress. I am surprisingly pleased with these. These were ridiculously cheap when I bought them. I think they were under £7 and I bought them some point last year um, and they're actually really good. I was really really surprised so I might well get some more because <laughs> these are a really good size. It's my kind of go-to size so really like those and I'm going to start off by blending tumbled glass all over the stencil I'm literally going to cover the whole of the image so I'll put you on high speed while I do that and once I'm done I will come back to you That's the ink blending done so now it's time to move on to my medium for today and today I'm going to be using my embellishment mousse. This is in the colour honeydew so let's have a little go. I'm going to use this tool because I want to try and be really intricate and really get into the flowers but I don't want to go into the areas surrounding the flowers so hopefully <laughs> this is going to work.
So that's the flower section of the stencil now completely covered in embellishment mousse. It was quite hit and miss. This wasn't a great tool to use for really intricate work. I really struggled with the points and I think at times I have got embellishment mousse on the actual card. Um, I have tried to use a cotton swab to mop it up and blend it out a bit um, but I do think it's going to look a little bit messy. But that's half the fun of making cards is experimenting and using your stuff and getting to know what you can and can't do. So that's been on for a few minutes so I'm going to carefully start removing the washi tape so I'm going to go wash my stencil now we'll leave this to dry and then we'll come back and finish the card the embellishment mousse is now dry so let's have a look at our card so this is how we're looking it's a shame that we have traces of the embellishment mousse around the image i think i definitely need to have a look and see if there's a tool i can use to be more accurate with these really delicate intricate stencils i did contemplate using one of the um tools that looks like a shaving brush but i just thought that would probably flick over into these areas anyway so if you know of anything let me know in the comments so the fact that we have these traces of embellishment mousse on our central image kind of changes the direction i was going to go with this card let's bring in some embellishments because there's nothing that can't be hidden in paper crafting with an embellishment that's the brilliant thing about it you can make a complete mess of a card like I've done and still turn it into something beautiful so I have some handmade flowers which I made and I love they're kind of spring colors and I have this card topper kit from Hobbycraft which I thought would work really well so let's have a little look and see it's all stuck together that's not so helpful so let's start with the sentiment and that can probably cover up that big blob there and then i think we'll just work around and see where we can put everything else I think that looks really really pretty so I'm just going to grab some glue and stick my handmade flowers down and then we'll see if I want to add anything else. I really like how this is looking I think the only thing I want to add is these little embellishments I've put them on all the other cards and I just think it finishes off this particular design really nicely so let's put some glue down and attach these and we are done so now all I need to do is fold my card and burnish the score line and there is the finished card we have a very very beautiful mother's day card and i absolutely love it so there we go three very different cards all using exactly the same stencil but in three very different ways i'm really pleased with how all of these cards have come out personally i think the mother's day one is my favorite but let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below i'd really really love to know thank you so so much for watching today i really hope you've enjoyed this video as i said before if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow and if you have found this video or found it useful please also give it a massive thumbs up i will be back soon with more videos so until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye for now